So good morning or good night, depending on where you are in the world. And welcome to another interview of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host, Hector. And today I'm joined by the one and only Prebator from Ghoul. How are you, sir? I am the one and only. There was another one. I killed him and I ate his corpse. Oh, God. So, now, awesome. so there are still two, but one of them resides at the bottom of the sewer from after the poopies. Well, <laughs> Yeah, that, that's awesome. So we're here because uh, the band Ghoul has a new EP coming out in February. So uh, we're going to talk about the EP and the upcoming tour that you guys have with Municipal Ways, Necrot. Uh, I'm trying to remember which other band. So Dead yeah, heat. yeah. So so Cremator. Uh, first yes. of all, <laughs> you sound. Uh, where where exactly did you came from? Because there I, I, there's like a hint of I, I'm not sure if it's like Conchocula means British. Ah, uh, you know, if the thing is, I am originally from France, je suis français. Uh, however, um, I had the lower half of my jaw blown off, so you can, I have a little froggy in my throat. It's uh, I know it's make fun. The frog has a frog, but you. Know, Oh, I nearly died uh, going around Europe, burning all the famous landmarks down, ended up in Creepsylvania, and that is where I met Digestor and Fermentor, and they said, hey, let's not eat this guy. Maybe he can play bass in our band. And I couldn't, and I still can't. But uh, anyways, they gave me a bass guitar, and here we are, uh, many years later, still performing Splatter Thrash for all of you fucking idiots. <laughs> yes, and the fucking idiots love the splatter fresh. So they uh, sure they do. Knew... They are really, really dumb. Really <laughs> dumb. God bless. But God bless them for being dumb and stupid <laughs> to to consume it. So uh so cremator, uh so you know you got you haven't had like that full length since 2016. What took so long? Maybe you were uh you know running around France uh Rummering and pillaging. Honestly, uh, it's kind of a blackout period for me. Um, so, you know, uh, this tour, we're going to cut it down to just 15 liters of vodka today and only, uh, you know, five liters of numbskull. The, you can have them less numbskull because that shit is very, very potent. It is female fermenter's own brew. So, yeah, it's kind of a blackout period. I don't know. I was uh, probably eating corpses. This is for sure because I am still alive. So, you know, I have to eat. So I think we we did some other uh, shows and tours with some good bands uh, like War Bison and, uh, you know, uh, Black Dahlia Murder. I think, you know, we were hanging out with those guys and Ghost and, you know, some other fun trips in between. But really, it's all a blur. My brain is addled. I think I've got the prions in there from eating too many brains. So don't expect much from me from a history perspective. Yeah, so here's the, here's the artwork for Noxious Concoctions, which pretty awesome artwork. What can you tell us about this artwork, Cremator? Uh, well, you know, that's pretty much uh, how, what our kitchen looks like every night. Uh, you know, there's a corpse being brewed. Apparently, there is a some kind of water snake in there that can survive uh, high temperatures and boiling. But the rat, uh, the rat is just for flavor. We're not so much into the, you know the normal meat, mostly human meat. And you know, it's always good to, to throw in a little alcohol to your cooking. You know, it's not to get inebriated; it's to add to the flavor. Plus, the rat is organic. Yes, the rat is organic. You know, all of our all of our food is organic, uh, except for the toxic slime and the um, let's see, the uh, radial belt tires that sometimes make their way in there. Uh, not so organic, uh, and uh, you, you know, um, spewed, uh, sputum from a monster. It's hard to say. Is a monster organic? Is Kogar sputum organic? Because I'm not sure he is a creature of this earth. Yeah, I, I can't, I, I wouldn't know either uh, of that. So yeah, the artwork is pretty cool. And I heard, I listened to the EP, which is five tracks, four tracks are original, and you have a cover song on this one. So let's tell the, the cover song. Uh, how yes. was it covering that song? Well, we thought, you know, it's a, it's kind of a, a lot of bands like to do covers once in a while. We've done some covers in the past. 
uh, you know, they're like, oh, let's show how cool we are because we know this famous hardcore band or let's pay homage to fucking Metallica. We don't give a shit about Metallica. Uh, <laughs> fuck them. I'm not going to give them any money from doing a covers for them. So we said, let's look into the past, the mystic past of excellent thrash metal music that surely most of our idiot fans have not heard. So we decided to give a little education and pay homage to a great band called Funerat from Olympia, Washington. Check out their old LPs. They're an amazing thrash band. Uh, you know, they're, they were great kids. They didn't quite make it, uh, you know, to the big leagues. Not, and not everybody can be as talented as Ghoul, you know. But they wrote some good tunes. And so we decided that uh, our old friends that we decided not to kill, uh, they're still alive, I swear. Uh, just don't go looking in, don't go looking behind the police station in like St. Louis or whatever. And, um, you know, uh, so we covered the uh, uh, 1900 uh, death thing. And uh, it's a great tune, and they're a great band. Go check out Funeral no, it's a, Look at their it's old a great, It's a great tune, and it's good that you didn't cover Metallica. See, I have it in my I'm drinking water. Yeah, you're, oh. you're Metallica. It's, you know, it's, you've got creeping <laughs> death right there in your water. You don't need us to cover it. <laughs> Nobody needs another band to play a Metallica song. They're no. still playing them. No, we do not. There's enough of that. So uh, the first single for this that you that you have is Noxious Conductions, and that's a really fun track. Uh, tell us a bit about the inspiration for that track, Cremator. Well, Noxious Conductions is, uh, you know, like we're just telling things from the streets of Creepsylvania. We're just storytellers about the world around us and what is happening. We're like the news, man. And uh, Noxious Conductions is basically talking about, you know, uh, Abominox has kind of destroyed most of Creepsylvania, you know. We're underground, so we're safe here. But above ground, his mold, his, I don't even know if it's a him or a her or an it. It's, it's, it's a giant eldritch plant creature from another dimension that has invaded to Creepsylvania. Because you cannot of the bomb assume that the creature's up. gender. <laughs> no, I would never. I would never. No. And I would ask, but the thing would fucking eat me. So it's, it, you know, it's letting off fungal blooms, slime. It's taking over people's fucking brains. I mean, it's not hard to take over a Creepsylvanian's brain. There's not much there to begin with. They're, they still live in Creepsylvania. Get the fuck out if you can, you know. And um, so, yeah, it's about those, those things in the air and the disgustingness and of, of this eldritch horror from beyond. The moldy ones, the gods that want to destroy and consume all flesh. So it's a happy tune. Right. It's a happy-go-lucky tune. Uh, I love real, the real, EP. Real dance it, number. We're gonna. Yeah, it's you know. a dance. You can dance to it. Uh, I love the the opener. It's the longest song with a almost eight minutes. The eyes of the witch. I really yes. enjoyed that one. Uh, what's that one about, Cremator? That one is about one of our favorite people in the world. We're not sure if she loves us or hates us, but the swamp witch. The Swamp Hag, rather, she is also a witch. The Swamp Hag, Surialda, who has really, you know, she was hunted down hundreds of years ago and sent to the bottom of the swamp. But with her witchy powers, she came back from the dead. And she put a curse on all of Creepsylvania, which, of course, for Ghoul is a lot of fun for us. You know, <laughs> ha, fuck that. We love the horror. So it's a basically kind of a biography piece that we did. Uh, paying homage to our favorite bitch from the swamp. Yeah, sounds like a great Hallmark movie. Yeah, no, it's it's really you know I'm thinking more Lifetime. You know, Lifetime, yeah. let's get let's get Meredith Baxter Bernie in there as uh, as the swamp hag and Brian Dennehy as the antagonist who's like you know sneaking in her window and she gets revenge and it's great. Yeah, and and at the end there's like a romantic interest. For the witch, maybe Cremator uh, uh, marries the witch. Ah, she would be left very sexually unsatisfied as my penis was blown off in an unfortunate accident. But you know, we could have kind of a uh, platonic friendship, I guess. Hang out. Uh, I mean, as long as she doesn't mind. Uh, I'm pretty lazy. I don't do windows. No cooking. No cleaning. No nothing. I will start maybe the fire. Pen pals. This is this is the one thing. Yes, pen pals. 
I will have to learn to read is the only problem there. And write. I, I'm not really sure. It looks like a big jumble of whatevers. Yeah, no, no. It's It, it sounds like a great song. And uh, obviously the other two songs, uh, Shotgun Gulch and Rat Liquor, are super cool as well. And very danceable, Merci. like you would say. Yes, you come to our show, you get your groove on. <laughs> you, What's going on? Get... It's a ghoul song. I've got to dance. Disco fever. Yeah, so, and people, let's talk about this upcoming tour. So, yeah, big, oh, big tour coming up good in February. So I have here the, this is the the tour, the Brain Squeeze Tour 2024. So how, how awesome is this line of municipal waste? You have Waste Them All, Ghoul, Necrop, and Dead Heat. Uh, which I already talked to Dead Heat on the channel, so cool stuff. So tell me uh, about this upcoming tour. Well, we're very excited. Of course, we have, uh, you know, municipal waste. Uh, it's hard hard to say friend because, you know, uh, we don't really have friends. We don't even like each other in Ghoul. So we'll call them frenemies. We worked well together because we can party hard together. They're the only ones who can drink as much rot gut and numbskull as us and not become zombified lunatics, you know? They're still ready to play. And uh, we have a lot of fun with, you know, the whole gang, Nick, Tony Ryan. They, uh, everybody is so fucking cool. Landfill, you know, he's he swears he's going to teach me to play bass someday. So maybe maybe uh, we will actually turn the bass up in the mix if Landfill shows me a lick or two. And uh, this for waste. So we've partied with them across this country before. We've laid waste to towns before. So it's like going to be a very fun reunion of destruction and gore. And uh, Necrot, we know Necrot, they are like kind of from our second home in the Bay Area that we visit a lot. We get, uh, we have a cheap, Creepsylvanian Airlines flies cheap from Creepsylvania to, you know, San Francisco. So we play yeah, a lot of shows give you a discount. I got points. I got points. I'm spending money all the time getting points on my Creepsylvania credit card. And uh, so Necrot, classic old school death metal revival. Great guys, you know, with Chad and, and Sonny and Luca. We'll see if we kill them or not at the end of the tour, but usually they're pretty cool guys. And we're very excited to hang out with Dead Heat for the first times. The young ones, the upstarts, we're definitely going to kill them at the end of the tour. We can't have anyone taking our place as direct support. Look out, Dead Heat, we're coming for you. Yeah, that you've been warned, Dead Heat. Uh, That's right. We made her in Gula we're fair, forward. we're fair. We're cruel, but we're fair. Yeah, of course you are, sir. That's uh, that's a very fair assessment. So uh, so after this tour, uh, what's next for Ghoul? Do you have more like uh, songs uh, that you've been constructing or creating? Uh, we're, we're, going, we're definitely going to be drinking more. We're going to be eating more corpses. Uh, you know, hopefully we have a large collection of American corpses to export back to Creepsylvania. That's, that's the goal. That's why we do this. It's not for you. It's not for the money and fame. It's for the bodies. So, but yeah, you know, we have been working on material. Uh, some would say, um, what has it been? Some would say seven years is a little long between albums. And uh, so maybe we should get off our asses and do a thing. Uh, we have songs. Um, they suck, just like the old ones. <laughs> so it's more of the same, essentially. Uh, but uh, you idiots will eat it up because you fucking love, you love these handsome faces. They are irresistible. No, yeah, of course, yeah. Who can resist that that great face? You should, uh, I can see Cremator love in a dating yes. show. Like, uh, how would you describe your your perfect romantic date, man? Oh, my perfect romantic date. Well, of course, it will start off uh, in the cemetery where we will, you know, uh, we will we will walk the cemetery, look at the beautiful sights, the headstones. Then we will pick what looks like the freshest grave. And we will dig it up and we will exhume a body together. And then we will start the grand fire. And I'm going to burn all you fuckers. I'm going to burn the person I'm on a date with. I'm going to burn the corpse. I'm going to eat them all. And you will live happily in my stomach. Yeah, so romantic. <laughs> Sounds like a, like a cool Jerry Springer episode. From yeah, the bat, the bat at my eyes, you cannot resist. You cannot resist the French love of Primator. No, I'm telling you that that accent of yours is better than mine. 
<laughs> it, it really is. I'm, I'm kind of off put by your accent. It's disgusting to me. You should try, you should try gargling more nails. That helps I a lot, I find. Yes, gargle some nails, you know, and, uh, and, and speak nebulous uh, words from a language that doesn't exist, like, like, and Shrushtbach, you know, just make some shit up, and it's, uh, the, the people love it. You can uh, really land a good one with that kind of oh, breaking oh, your oh. tool belt. A keeper. I, I will land a keeper with that one. So, uh, Cremator, you know, it's it's been fun talking to you all the way from uh, from your homeland of Crystalvania. It's, That's it's great. Been... I'm glad you had fun because for me, this has been a real chore guy in a couch. I, I love your honesty. It's it's great to be honest. So uh, that's all we can be is just be ourselves. No mask here. This is the real deal. That that's the real deal. So people, uh, noxious concoctions will be out February the second. I'll post the link for people who wanna you idiots who wanna get that shit. Get yeah, you it. dumb shits, pick this up. Yeah. It's going to be awful. It's gonna be on. Uh, there, how many vinyl variants did you guys concoct? Um, I think about like 30. So you must buy 30 copies of BLP. I know buy 30 the glow in the dark the, same the glow album. in the dark is gone. So if you missed out on that, um you're you're an idiot. Uh it glows in the dark, so you can, you know, walk to the bathroom with your record player playing in the dark and not miss the toilet like you filthy animals that you are. And oh, uh, yeah, the, the splatters the and, and don't forget the black variant. You got to get the black vinyl variant. It's the most exciting one. Pure darkness. It's pure metal. It's it's uh, pure blackness. So yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no pink variant. Uh, there should be. That'd be fucking cool as fuck. <laughs> there's all type of colors now. So for we're gonna every, get all everyone... the colors. You're gonna buy all of them. Give us all your cash. Yeah, variants. You love it. Right. All the, and buy them also on cassettes and CDs. Just buy all the physical formats. Exactly. And, you know, come to the show and pick out a shirt to die in. That, that would always be fun. De pick up the shirt. Definitely go, go to the merch table before Google plays. Because that's the only way we can make sure we get your money before you die. The security guards like to take the wallets off the corpses before we can get our stuff packed up. It's not fair. It's not fair. These merch cuts these days, these merch cuts, they're just taking wallets out of the people we kill before we can even get the money. Yeah, no, they're, they're taking half of your shit, man. Yeah, it's terrible, you know, like we're doing the cutting and they're doing the merch cutting. It's bullshit. Man. It, it, I agree. It is bullshit, my man. So, Cremator, I want to thank you for taking some time of your busy day of, you know, eating corpses to talk with me on my couch here so people Absolutely. get that new ep when it comes out on february uh the second i think so until next time people this is hey, sector hey, 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 yeah. and remember to get off the couch and go for a walk once in a while man you gotta get your yes, cardio yes. in. <laughs> i get up from the couch and i walk that's how i get this uh this great physique man uh I'm, i like you i have to keep in shape you know that's right yeah not the not not the the ugly uh, uh whatever individuals that but the pretty ladies yeah we no you're missing ladies. out you're missing out you're missing out get with a swamp hag sometime the sex is incredible yeah I, i'm sure uh, the swamp <laughs> the swamp witch can probably blow my mind yeah That's right. i have to send me her number i will do that goodbye okay. bye people until next time this is hector the shield on a couch and I'll see you all right here on the couch. Thank you and goodbye.